Hey everybody, my newest acquisition, I just got a Yamaha tape deck, K340, and it seems to work okay. I was playing a local tape <laughs> earlier, and this is what it looks like open. bought it for 10 bucks. The only thing I can see that's wrong with it is, if you look here, there we are zoomed in. Well, it's fuzzy. This thing is supposed to have a belt on it that turns the counter. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care about that. And look at that nice transformer. And notice most of this is hollow, right? Now this is a Yamaha. I have a Sony at home and that has dual decks on it. This is only a single deck. And oh boy, glare. Love it. Okay. This is just a single deck. But apparently it came from Europe because see that big bunch of wires right there that is a voltage selector neat stuff it was bought somewhere else and brought here and well I don't know if I see all this hollow space right makes me want to fill it up it makes me want to put some kind of something in here I got an Atari Junior 2600 Junior that it needs you know parts and stuff so I might take it out of the case. The case looks good, so I might take it out of the case and put it in here and just call it an embedding project. Have the cart slot like right here <laughs> and have, uh, I was gonna, before I figured out it was broken, I was gonna mod it for, you know, composite video and all that. But then I found out it was broken and it needs all this stuff. And I'm like, ah, oh, well, great. And though it would be nice to have a 2600 Junior because I don't have one right now of my very own that's not broken, except for that one. I might just, you know, yank the guts from it, the motherboard, and mount it to the inside of here. And have all the switches and stuff on the top. And I don't know. That's just, this is just, I just brought this in and turned it on and it works. Hooked it up to my really cool, <laughs> somebody gave me this because it didn't turn on. It was a fuse. Now... Notice the crappy little speakers I got. They won't... Okay, this won't... will push these no problem. It's a 150-watt system, believe it or not. Or 120, something like that. And it'll push some really big honking speakers, right? But I'm not worried about it. I need it to make noise for games. That is the only reason. Tape don't work. CD changer don't work. Tuner and auxiliary in work. That's all I wanted it for. Plus, it looks cool. Okay, it's silver. It looks like a tower. See? It's shiny. <laughs> and it's got a weird UFO-looking remote. See what it's here? That likes to get stuck. Hello. Tuner comes back on. Okay, well. That's that. And this, I have the Sony at home. Don't! Oh! Metal falls when it is encountered with gravity. It will fall. Proof. There, experiment through. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is pretty cool. I got it at the pawn shop for 10 bucks. No warranty. No problem. No warranty. No problem. <laughs> and so far as I could tell, this is the only problem with it. The little wheel has the belt rotted off of it. But I don't care because I need, I like tape players. They're retro. Turns out I'm retro. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, it's neat, works great, and doesn't have any major scratches. I gotta get the goo off of it now, or does it? Nope. Well, got some stuff on the back, but who cares, right? And just since I'm here, this wood thing that it's on is gonna be my new countertop. It's gonna be Mate black with sticker paper. What do they call that? Contact paper. That's the computer I'm working on. That's what I do. That in games. Uh, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I got a tape deck. Awesome. It's retro. It's probably going to have an Atari put in it. I don't know. Atari Genesis. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. You're all awesome.